Hey there! In this video, I'll be doing a quick overview of the Swift Member 2.0 plugin. Here I am inside the dashboard. And as you can see, there's a snapshot of today's sales, the last 7 days, the last 30 days, total, pending refund, and total refunded and also the sales activity for the past 30 days. If we scroll down, we'll see the product performance for sales versus refunds for the various products within this membership. We can also see the course completion percentage as well. Let us go within the membership so if we click on View Member Sites, what you'll notice is that I have the Swift Member Setup. Once I click Edit, I'll be able to modify this existing membership. Step 2 is the Email, where I can add the name and email from which customer I will get notifications with their login details. Step 3 is the payment processors, which has several direct and third-party payment systems integrated. Step 4, autoresponders, where you'll find the major providers inside, such as Aweber, GetResponse, MailChimp, MarketHero, SendLane, SendReach, and Sendy. And you can use others as well by simply adding the HTML code to get your leads. Step 5 is the theme options, which you can use to design your membership to your needs. What's new in the version 2.0 release is the Course Builder that you can use to create Udemy-style courses. Simply click Add Course. The name of the course, for example, How to Lose Fat, the description, six minutes, how to lose weight, then the video URL for a YouTube video. Then we add the content, Then click Add Course to save it. Next, we have Products where you can view products within the membership. If we click Add Product, we'll see the same step-by-step -step wizard to collect the product setup. So we have the product name, then we can select which membership to add to it, Sales URL, Product Description, and purchase redirect URL for upsell offers. We have tooltip messages, which explain each step for you. Step two is the product, how it will be delivered, as a simple digital download, a WordPress page, or a post, or a course. Can link a PDF for the manual, and if it's a software or not. Step 3 is the payment, where we choose free sign, one-time payment, or subscription-based. Step 4, bundle, where you can click other products as well, so once they buy, they can have access to these products as well. Step 5 is the IPN, which we have integrated with JVZoo so the customers get their login details after purchase. We can do this for other payment systems as well. Step 6 is the autoresponder, which you can collect leads for each product or a specified product. Step 7 is the theme where you can add an e-cover for the product. After that, we have the users, which gives you a listing of all the customers inside the membership and their status, if they're active or not. Next, we have the orders, where you can see a listing of all the orders that have been processed, where you can see the amount, user, product, processor, date, and if the status is approved or refund. 
Next, we have domains, where you can see all where the product is registered. Next, we have review reports, to see the sales statistics of all or specified products on a daily or monthly basis. Next is the utility, where you'll see options to save the database or rebuild in case of errors. Right now, let me just jump over to the step screen to show you how the membership looks from the click side. So from where I am in the login screen, I simply enter the login user and password to enter the membership. If I choose View Products, I'll see the list of products that are available. I simply click Access to launch the course. So we have the layout, the completion percentage, Start Next Lesson Progress button, or we can scroll down and start the lessons individually. As you progress through the course, you'll notice the completion percentage increasing. As you can see, Swift Member 2.0 is a very awesome piece of technology for your online business. Thanks for watching.